you don't need any educational background as far as you know how to write even sometimes if you don't know how to write you can go there and then they teach you hello guys good morning my name is Pascal Agwe you're welcome to my channel um, today I'm gonna be discussing it's gonna be a kind of a, a free talk a free we're going to feel free and we're going to talk uh, in time to come in the future we are very soon just very soon we are going to be um, we're going to be making some streaming live streaming guys live streaming I'm here I'm coming to you all the way from Dubai and uh, I'm here to talk about things you can do things you can do here even as a skilled and as non-skilled uh, person personnel skilled and non-skilled by that I mean um, like jobs you can do if you are educated or if you're not educated non-skilled jobs for people who don't need their who don't have education like you didn't go to school you understand uh, if you're skilled that means you go to school and they are skilled jobs skilled in the sense that you need education you need to go to school before you can do this uh, kind of jobs here in the uh, United Arab Emirates uh, popularly known as Dubai now um, if you watch my previous videos you're going to find out things I said about Dubai how you can get a job how you can move the, the various types of uh, visas you have about Dubai now one thing about this uh, topic I'm going to be telling you today is this I am going to be telling you my own experiences yes my personal experiences especially when it comes to all these um, things because uh, yes I would classify myself as a skilled personnel and I've been going for the skilled jobs even though I started from unskilled jobs yes I did I even as a graduate yeah I'm a university graduate but I still came here I kept my certificates aside my university degree certificate aside uh, personally I studied sociology I'm a graduate of sociology and anthropology from a university and uh, I just had to put it aside the certificate aside and I went for an events work I entered the events work as an ordinary laborer yes uh, I have a previous video on that uh, if I if you get it I will tag it for you here so you can see see and hear my personal stories on uh, how I actually got my first job my experiences personal experiences and all that so you can know uh, when you're going through things you get to understand and you get to easily maneuver things or not really maneuver you can easily take the things in so you can move on the reason is this some people don't actually get this uh, 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 how do I put it was the word again so people don't actually get those dream jobs they dream of while coming to this place you understand so they don't, some people don't get to get it immediately but I thank God um, I came in I didn't quite uh, I wasn't quite that lucky lucky but I am grateful to God why am I grateful because it gave me some so many chances yeah to get to meet up with people maybe if I got a, a white collar job I would have ended up not being able to uh, know things that I know now Things like um, you know, meeting up people, getting to mix with the locals, the citizens of this place, getting as close enough to be able to learn. I worked with drivers, I worked with uh, with uh, event planners, I worked even as of now. If I if someone wants to host an event and they need materials here in Dubai, then you need a hall, you need materials. I can hook you up with that in any part of Dubai. You if you need decorations and all, you need chairs, you need tables and stuff. So I'm hooked and all that. Uh, I'm not advertising anything guys. I'm not advertising anything, but um Those were the things I was able to learn coupled with the language the the, the Arabic here uh, I'm not that fluent guys. I'm not that fluent, but I can speak to you I can I can uh, understand when you say some things and I can relate I would say I know the standard Arabic, uh, you know standard Arabic is like a tahal That means come here Idlis, tahal Idlis. That means come and sit down uh, When enter where are you? And so on and so forth. Uh, give, give more. That is give me water and all that. There are so many other things, so many other words that I've learned from them, and uh, I'm quite grateful for that. Uh, it's been quite an experience. It's been quite a journey. Um, I've been here. I've been in UAE for uh, since 20 December of uh, 2018. Precisely, I landed here December 20. Uh, sorry, December 16th, 2018, and this is my third year. Yeah, third year. 19, 20, 21. This is 2021. So I'm gonna be completely three three years by uh, December the twenty December the sixteenth. Yeah, 
So I'm gonna be 20 years. Sorry. Oh God. I'm gonna be three years here in Dubai, in the UAE. My first job was actually in Abu Dhabi, uh, close to Alain, a place called Alain, to be precise. So guys, uh, what I'm gonna be, let me dive into what I'm gonna be dis uh, discussing today. I told you guys it's gonna be a discussion, not really uh, something, something you have to. Don't feel too. Um, don't go and feel too serious. Don't be too serious, guys. People who are too serious, my brother, my sister, they've not ended well, my dear. Feel free. Let's have fun while we are discussing about ourselves. Let's get to uh, know each other. At the end of the day, guys, if there is anything I did not mention here, um, I would want you to include it in the session, in the comment section. And uh, guys, please, if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe so that you can get to know. I'm going to be releasing videos at least twice or thrice or three times a week from now on. Uh, as you can see, if you watch my pre previous videos and watch me now, you can you will know uh, over a year now my looks and everything has changed. Um, that is God's doing. And you check my vid previous video, then you check me now. You see, you know that uh, things have actually improved, and uh, we thank God for that. Now, what are we? Let's go into what I want to talk about now. And I'm as I'm going, I'm going to be giving some uh, personal experiences as it's, as it's regard the. The topics or uh, the things the jobs we're going to be talking about like i said i want to go into uh things or jobs that uh people who did not attend school or go to school can uh go for and then i'm going to go for the other one which uh, is a uh, courses courses like some certificates you can get one can get uh when it concerns um when you want to improve on your job, when you want to maybe change a job or change a career line. Now, there are two categories. I want to categorize them under skilled and unskilled. Skilled is for those who attended the schools, those who went to school. I will, I will call it those who are educated and uh, unskilled, those who are not educated. Now, in this case, there are some jobs that equally falls both, both for those who are skilled and those who are not skilled. Just jobs like a salesperson. So those persons sometimes they don't need, uh, they don't even want someone who's uh, educated. They just want you to have the experience. And sometimes even if you don't have the experience, you can train on the job. Most of the jobs you can actually train on the job, on the go, and then uh, you get to learn. You understand? Just like uh, when they tell you, <laughs> they post a job and then they tell you guys, they tell you they say, uh, we need experience, five years experience. Man, five years experience. You need a five years experience and every other uh, people that put in a five years experience, every other job they put in five years experience for people like who is going to, where are we going to get the experience if you wouldn't allow people to get to um, work with you, you teach them, train them on how to do things, how to run such business for you, how to, um, um, you know, if it is sales, you teach me how to sell your goods. Teach me, tell me what to tell the customers. Then I will have to bring in my own style, my own uh, uh, strategy. And then we'll see if it works or not. If it doesn't, after a few months, you can send me away. You understand? Or even less than that. But then uh, um, people tend to just want someone who's always experienced. Um, that's not, they just go straight to uh, the list of the job I have. Um, I'm going to start from uh, the ones who are skilled the skilled uh jobs guys let's start from, from the skilled jobs skilled for those people who are educated those people who went to school not necessary for those people who are very educated now i want you guys to differentiate this the first uh, uh course or the first certification uh, uh uh course or certificate course that i'm talking i just want to be as simple as possible the reason is this i don't want people to be scared i wouldn't want people to be scared because what I, what I want to start with now is CIRA. CIRA, CIRA is the, uh, the course for security. As for security guards, if you want to be a security guard here in the uh, UAE, United Arab Emirates, you can do the course known as CIRA. That's a security industry, industry regulatory agency here in uh, Dubai. That is for Dubai and surroundings, Dubai and the Emirates surrounding it. Other Emirates, you can do PSBD. PSBD, uh, it is for Abu Dhabi. PSBD is for Abu Dhabi, that is for security uh, guards in Abu Dhabi. And you can as well use it and work in some other Emirates. Those are the two main uh, security courses. Now for this era, I want you guys to know this. You must not, it is not a must that you must be educated. It is not that you must be extremely educated, no. And there is no background. You don't need any educational background. As far as you know how to write, 
even sometimes if you don't know how to write you can go there and then they teach you here they have it both in english and both in arabic now if you can read something and understand if you can listen in the class believe you me guys you can know what they are talking about you can learn it you can become experienced they are not doing the exams to fail you they are even doing it so that they you they will pass you you will get to pass sira is a five day old course five days yeah four days classes you attend from morning till night uh and then on the fifth day you go for both fitness there's a fitness uh, exercise or test you go for just for you to run you know run from like this place i would say maybe five meters run and go or come back run and come back five meter run go and come back on the same line just do it for like maybe you do it for like five minutes and then you push some heavy something just push it they are just there people there they are not doing it to fail you they are doing it to ascertain how fit you are for you to uh, actually know it is not something scary it is not something too difficult it is not no it is not you just have to like prepare yourself it is just something you do under 10 minutes you're done with the uh, the whole thing five ten minutes you're done with the whole thing and then for the papers uh you're good for the test you're going to be sitting it will be on your computer and computer is you don't need to know how to operate a computer before you can do that no you don't why because the on the day of the exam everything is set for you they will just tell you look at what you'll be clicking just take your this and take on the computer the mouse they will tell you how to do it if you don't know how to do it you raise your hand and then they will come to you someone will come to you and attend to you and tell you how to do it they will tell you how to do it the only thing they will not tell you is they will not tell you the answer but then the answer is easy coming on the answer the answers for the questions they're asking is very easy why am i saying it's very easy it is because it's practicable all the things you are taught in the class is what exactly they will bring out for you on the exam day uh, guys before i forget before the exam day you must have they must have given you test uh it's kind of a it's a kind of a mock test mock those tests that they give you is exactly the questions that will come that will be coming on your exam day which is on that fifth day that means the course is for five days four days of uh lecture full lecture from morning to evening even some uh for the place that i attended my uh personally for the place that i attended my attended with uh um this is not an advert though i attended uh my my sira with a first security group and over there uh, they they treated us quite well quite fine in the morning we get breakfast you get your tea and biscuits in the morning uh mainly lipton and tea uh and then biscuits then in the afternoon maybe around one or two or so i can't remember i did it like two years ago they will give call you guys out and then give you rice and then the sauce rice sauce and meat you understand it's quite um and the the classes they in which they sit for the uh, uh uh lectures are quite comfortable quite nice well ventilated um ac stuff and all that you got the washroom you can easily go and ease yourself and stuff and they are very good at what they do guys they have gotten so much into it again and again and again and they've become so good and so uh doesn't believe you me guys they always want you to pass why there i think there are about a few just a few schools here in dubai that actually um uh, are in charge or licensed by the government to issue such courses so uh they they're kind of in competition with each other they always want you to pass you understand but they are not the people setting the exams for you the exams will be set by the body the sira body itself the, on the day of your exams you're going to be going to the sira headquarters here in dubai to write the exam and that is the security industry regulatory agency uh, headquarters where you guys will receive a lecture too there will be a big hall a big theater hall uh you receive a kind of an auditorium where you receive a lecture and all that on that same day of your exam and on that day too you'll be fed they'll be giving you guys maybe some burgers some snacks and stuff like that some fruits they normally organize for that too so it's quite something uh you can do they will give you guys a lecture on that day on uh people of determination that is uh we call it people of disability people with disabilities but here in uh uae they know them as a uh, people of determination as uh, the pod's they will teach you on how to handle them tell you things teach you on how to uh, uh take care of them in case of uh, where you are working and all that stuff like that things you will learn in uh, in sira in sira you learn how to use the you know this uh fire extinguisher you learn how to use it how to pull the pin how to identify things whenever things want to happen oh my dear it's quite nice it's quite a nice one and uh as of the last time i checked 
the price of the program was still the same thing, the same thing, about 1,730 dirhams. That was what they, uh, you can actually uh, do that in your own currency and then you will get to know 1,730 dirhams. It's within that range. If it's going to be, there's going to be a, a, a difference, it's not going to be much within, uh, depending on the countries maybe. But as of the last time I checked, they said it is 1,730 dirhams or 32 dirhams or thereabout. So it has remained the same for years. I checked this year with them. If you guys are interested, I can uh, maybe put the number. Uh, I would, or you can contact me in box uh, and I will get to give you a contact. I still have their contacts here today to date. And, and that is all about Sira. Once you do it, do you do the exam, you sit for the exam. It's very easy. It's quite easy. The same things you see in class, they taught you in class, is the same thing you will see up there in the exam hall. And then uh, when you sit for the exam, let's say you sit for the exam uh, to, maybe on a Thursday. On Sunday, your exam is already out. You can actually call uh, the people you start the exam at their place. That is the uh, security company or maybe whichever organization you start the exam with. And they will provide you with a statement of results. Uh, yes, the certificate actually comes out after two weeks. Yes, about after after 14 days or within the 14 days, within two weeks of your sitting for the exam, the certificates will come out and you are having certificates of about, because you're going to be taught on how to uh, resuscitate people who are fainted or stuff like that. People who fainted, uh, take care of people in, uh, you know, things like they delve into uh, a little bit of safety and all that. How to resuscitate people, how to quench fires. You're going. There's going to be a practical on that day too, and how you guys can quench fire in case there is a minor fire incident in wherever place you're working, whichever place you're working. They will teach you on how to identify uh, things like maybe uh, bomb. We, we don't pray we don't pray for that guys uh, I teach you on how those how to identify a bomb there's going to be uh, a CID official from the Dubai police headquarters to teach you guys how to identify robbers armed robbers and stuff like that it's quite nice guys it's quite um, something you can you guys can do quite something you guys should look up to doing and you remember this this is very important you don't need to you don't need to have any background in security you don't need to have any results before you can do this nobody needs your if you attended secondary school or not if you can speak english in fact if you can type and chat 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 people my friend whether you are a lady or a guy you can go for it ladies go for it the guys they go for it and the the the, the payment the payment is about two thousand uh between uh, let me say one thousand eight hundred between one thousand eight hundred dirham to two thousand five hundred dirham that is the payment range. You can actually get a place where you can be paid more than that, depending on how much overtime you do to with the company. You understand? And you might actually get much more lucky, and you get put in a place like a friend of mine was put in a hotel where she she gets as much as a, a almost three thousand. Some some months she gets more than three thousand. Why? Because she was getting a t getting tips. She was posted in a hospital. You understand? So it happened that uh, it was a good place for her, and then she was getting tips most of the most of the uh, 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 months. She would tell me she gets as much as three thousand. That the people there are so nice that they tip her a lot. You understand? So that is just it. That is Sarah for you. And uh, guys, if you have any question about Sarah, put it down on the comments or you direct it to me. I'll be putting uh, my social media handle so you can chat me direct, and then. We'll go from there. Then the second thing, guys, the second thing I want to talk about is a waiter and waitress. Waiter and waitress. Now, this one can fall under the non-skilled jobs and it can as well fall under the skilled jobs. Why am I saying this? The reason I'm saying this is this. Some organizations, before they get to recruit you, they get to ask for if you are trained. You understand? If you are trained. Depends mostly hotels here in uh, Dubai before they recruit you they get to ask if you are trained if you had past experiences and all that and then There are actually there are courses there are um, Institutes that actually get to teach people on how to wait on uh, events uh, Waiters or events waiters are for guys waitress is for the ladies you understand so a lady and a guy can as well do it This one you don't you don't really need uh, to be so much educated except maybe you're going for the course and stuff like that even if you're going for the course you don't need to be so educated they just need you to 
watch what they are doing because they will have to teach you how to carry things how to carry maybe a tray of food a tray of drinks how to pour drinks when you're if you're gonna be serving a drink you know stuff like that how to open uh, a wine uncork a wine in the presence of um uh, the guests and stuff like that how to walk they teach you from that how to walk they teach you how to dress yourself they teach you how to greet the communications and all that so it's quite um it's quite nice it's quite something uh, and I believe uh, for you to get to that extent uh, for you to get to learn that waiter waitress uh, should be should cost for the for the training maybe about a thousand dirham maybe maybe even less than that you understand if you actually want it you can google it all these things i'm saying you can google it online and then you get uh uh the place you get to get a phone number for the place that is for the waiter and the waitress and for their pay for the payments it depends on where you are employed it depends on the organization taking you guy taking you in now it can range the payment can range between maybe one thousand dirham yes it's as low as that 1000 dirham to like three or four thousand dirham yes depending on the organization which employs you or which takes you for a job for the waiter or waitress job so um that is it that's the range one good thing about it is that you can be educated you can as well not be educated what is just there is for you to learn the skills of a waiter or of a waitress some hotels they get to ask if you have the um if you have the certificate some they don't actually care if you have the certificate or not they take you in and when you're good they get to uh, take you to the if it is required if it is required they get to take you to the uh for, for the uh, certificate course and then you get to do it and then continue your work you understand so it can as well go because uh, people who are educated can go for it people who are not educated can still go for it you understand the next thing on the skilled job is uh the barista yeah barista or you know, yeah, it's also known as a uh, coffee makers the coffee makers they make coffee or maybe people who make these uh, smoothies with a uh, smoothies with um with fruits you understand so barista mm. they are popularly known as barista the ones you see that make coffee the ones you see in caravans and stuff like that they stand and then make coffee designed coffees and all that design like flowers maybe a kind of um design or there's a new way to do it your face kind of technology that they put your face on the tea you're about to take it's quite nice and then uh, it's it's awesome it's awesome that is barista and for any of you who wants to attend that you can contact me and I will uh, I will get to direct you on uh, one or two places you can get to do that you can as well Google it online and as well check on Google Google and then, then they will tell you you get to see places you can do that you get to see their contacts or their addresses but guys all these things i'm telling you please kindly make sure you get to the place and check the person before you get to pay and then if you get around there ask questions kindly ask questions and make sure make sure that they are really still existing after calling them don't just call get a number online and get and then call and then at the end of the day you find out you are duped i wouldn't be happy about that you understand i wouldn't be happy to hear such a story um that's it guys if you have any other comment on this uh, barista of a thing uh let me know i believe the the range for the training ranges between 800 dirham to about 1500 1800 dirham or thereabout yeah for the ones that i have actually uh uh encountered i've uh, i have not done myself but i've been able to send a couple of people to someone who actually trains people here in dubai and as i have a ugandan lady that uh uh trains people and is a uh, She's quite good at it. She has the machine. She gets. She's get. She's going to teach you things like teach you even how to swipe with the POS, how to swipe the customers or clients' uh, 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 ATM card. How you get to swipe it on the POS that you'll be using. They teach you all those. Teach you how to design the tea, how to make it, how to be you know cleanliness, the cleanliness that follows it, so you get you don't get to mess things up. You understand? They get to teach you all those things and. When you start work, you start as if you already started with experience. And she, the good thing about it is, she doesn't let you go or graduate from her place of training until you finish, until you learn everything. As long as you want, you can keep coming as far as as long as you have your uh, transportation fare to get to her place of training. She, you are always welcome as far as you have paid. 
you won't graduate until you learn everything. She wouldn't actually allow you to graduate until you learn everything. You understand? Except you decide to go on your own. And then if you want, you can go, you can let her know that you want a certificate. She can provide you the certificate. If you don't want, you can still go and go get your job without certificate. After all, these days, um, the recruiters or the people, employers, they don't actually care for who has certificate because a lot of uh, people who don't who actually get a certificate don't still know how to uh, do the job or they, they still don't they are not good at what they do so the best thing is for you to stay as long as possible and you learn everything she's going to tell you certificate or not guy certificate or not and may i get to tell you when you require a certificate they are going to charge you extra maybe extra maybe say two three hundred extra from what uh, they initially charged you guys and that is that about barista about their payments range salary range salary range should be between um between 1,500 dirham, that's 1,500 dirham to about 4,000 or thereabout, depending on the employer, depending on the company, you understand. And your experience, sometimes it's based on your experience too. So when you are able to show the employer that you have had experience, you have an experience in such a field, they are going to up your pay, definitely. The next thing on the agenda is CCTV. CCTV. CCTV, that is a um, Monitoring of camera. This one uh, can be classified under the security system or the security industry too. Uh, the CCTV is a course you can do whereby under security, under the security industry, whereby you can be behind the monitoring or uh, you can be in the monitoring room. Those kind of people who sit behind uh, big television, so many televisions, and then in the in a room that is popularly known as the monitor room or monitoring room. Then you watch the cameras you can see everybody every side of the buildings that is what you know is known as cctv so you can get a certificate for that cctv operator you can get a certificate for as, as a cctv operator and then there are so many jobs for that currently there are so many jobs for that actually you understand especially when uh this sira is uh sorry when uh, this expo 2020 that is coming up now postponed to this year so there are so many so many so many jobs on cctv which you get to sit behind a car uh, 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 you sit behind the monitoring screens and then you watch around and monitor things that is just your job you sit from time to time maybe from morning to uh, depending on how many hours your, your job is just to monitor and watch and pinpoint if there is anything going wrong you have your control uh, radio there to get to inform whoever is in charge of that particular place mostly you you inform the securities or tell your your supervisor if the case is that serious you get to monitor things and all that and then uh, everything is being on record everything is recording you have to you be in charge of the recording you come in the morning or you come in from your uh when your shift whenever your shift starts you get to um you know put on the record and then it starts recording that is cctv cctv i think the the training it depends on where the academy or the institute you want to train in. And that is like, um, it, it ranges, the training payments ranges from uh, 3,000, between 3,000 to 5,000, depending on where you're going to uh, train. You can actually get a, a school that actually maybe, maybe uh, takes below, below this 3,000 and actually get to study there and get your certificate. Um, for this, I think it's strictly for those with certificates. If they are going to take people without certificate to be people with serious certificate and with experience you understand guys this is a, a level a supervisor level uh program or a job so it's a supervisor level uh, uh kind of job so definitely they will need people with experience someone with a security experience and then someone with a certificate so this one is strictly for uh the skilled guys or the skilled people you can stay up your game even if you're not like um too educated you can stay up your game if you can pass sira and you're serious enough you can type you can grab things with your mind with your head when you're being taught in class i always tell people this if you want to pass an exam if you want to pass a test or an exam then you must listen in class you can pass the exam without studying if your lecturer actually teaches everything in class you can pass the exam you can grab 70 percent of whatever they are teaching in class 70 percent of what you can write down if you should write 70 percent my brother my sister you are done you can ace the exam you can Believe you me, you get the exam and then you ace your result, get your result, you get your A's and uh, get your certificate. So that is it. About the, the salary for the CCTV, the salary is between, uh, say, 2,500 dirham 
to about 5,000, depending on the employer, depending on the company you are working with. Understand? Even some CCTV, I've seen some CCTV, they pay actually more than 5,000. Uh, 5, uh, reason being that it depends on the experience of the individual and the certificates in which they came in with. You understand? Guys, it is very nice if you want to look for a job, have a certificate. Don't just go and look for a job and tell them uh, you will get the certificate later. If you want, you can do that quite all right. But if you want good money, calm down in the job you're doing, get the certificate and then you move. When you have, you have the certificate handy, then you move. You can make your move like that. With that, my brothers, sisters, men, you've got, you will get good money. You get paid good money. You have the, the, the power to actually negotiate at the interview. So guys, this is where I'll end the our discussion for today. I will call it educated discussion because I want you to write on the comment section. Go down to the comment section. Session. If there's anything that I did not mention today, whether it is for the educated or for the non-educated, you can write it on the comment section and then I, will, I can make a research there and then I will talk about it. If you want me to talk about it, I can talk about it. If there is anything you think I said wrong, write it on the comment section there. Share these videos, guys, please. Share this video and then get to uh subscribe if you have not subscribed subscribe so that you can get to get my videos i'm going to be releasing videos two times every week for now i'm going to be releasing about two times twice a week and then as time goes on it's going to be three times a week guys this channel talks about both traveling entertainment gives you information latest information and every other thing you can think about mostly how life works as time goes on i'm going to be uh, indulging you guys on a live stream video so i can know we can get to talk and we can get to advise each other uh for the people who are uh, we'll be able to bring on people who have experiences we talk about our experiences to each other and then we get to know what next to i'll uh, get to advise each other and know what in, uh, what next to do you understand you know when people talk about their experiences you get to know how you can handle your own you don't even sometimes you don't even need to ask ask a question before you get a solution to your problem sometimes when you just listen you get opinions you get people's opinions and then you get definitely get an answer to that particular question you have in mind you understand so let's keep it a date here subscribe like this video and then you share to your friends once again i'm pascal Agu. thank you guys for being here peace and success